Hello friends, welcome to Block Bytes. Everyone knows the crypto space is notorious for hacks and attacks, as hundreds of millions of dollars of wealth are stolen yearly. Just last month, crypto security and auditing business Certic reported more than 103 million were taken from crypto investors and companies because of exploits, scams, and attacks. So far, the total year-to-date loss has now reached a massive $430 million. The month was particularly plagued by big crypto exploits, such as $25.4 million lost from a exploit of multiple MEV trading bots on April 3rd. $22 million was stolen in a hot wallet exploit at the BitTrue exchange and a $13 million loss was due to a hack of the South Korean GDAC exchange. In addition, roughly $20 million was lost to flash loan attacks throughout the month, primarily by Yearn Finance, after a attacker exploited an old smart contract on April 13th. The blockchain security firm also reported that total cash lost to exit scams reached 9.4 million in the month, with Merlin Dex losing 2.7 million as the top exit fraud. Ironically, Certic was involved in auditing the Merlin Dex before the hack. Certic said it looked into a potential private key management issue at the exchange. However, others have pointed out at a bug in the code. Following the attack, Certic launched a compensation plan that urged that the rogue developer to return 80% of the stolen funds in exchange for a 20% white hat bounty. According to the RECT database, April saw 52 attacks and hacks alone. Let's look at the distribution of these attacks based on their type. It becomes evident that the predominant attack vector is rug pull, with 63% of all attacks in April. Although collectively, rug pulls drain a lot less money out of the system compared to other exploits like access control and flash loan attacks. These are particularly nefarious as it impacts regular users like you and me the most. But what is a rug pull? A rug pull is a type of scam that occurs in the crypto world when the creators of a particular cryptocurrency or project suddenly abandon it, taking all the invested funds with them. Essentially, they pull the rug from under the investors, leaving them with worthless coins and lost investments. People drawn mainly by greed get pulled to this wild west of crypto like a moth to a flame and burn. Be careful and please do not gamble with your hard-earned money. While we are on the topic of rug pulls, I came across a fascinating set of tweets. The first is by on-chain researcher and popular Twitter user, Zach XBT. He tweeted that one account launched 114 meme coins in just the last 60 days. Each was a scam and all money deposited was stolen and transferred to the same address. The second is from researcher Coin Guru, who posted a similar message and pointed out another meme coin scam. According to his tweet, this address has consistently launched two to five meme coins and rug pulled all those for two years. A simple search on the internet will reveal that there has been a history of such rug pulls in the space. But if rug pulls are a dominant form of scam in crypto, why do people keep getting scammed? People are getting influenced by what they see and hear. And this brings me to an essential but often overlooked 
aspect of this subject. The cryptoverse is full of social media influencers. A lot of these are genuinely interested in the technology and its applications. Still, some are in it to make easy money at the end user's expense. Zach is actively calling out these influencers on his Twitter timeline. For example, most recently he posted this tweet. Here he reveals a crypto influencer who publicized a meme coin that got rug pulled days after it got hyped by him in the market. Here is another example. These two influencers were promoting another coin, BTFD, which went on to get rugged. Both of them deleted their tweets to erase their involvement with it. Sometimes even influencers get scammed. In the first example, Twitter user SmokeXBT replied to Zach, stating that he was scammed into marketing for the coin for which he did not receive the payout. I don't know about you, but I was amazed to see these examples. And it further solidifies my strategy, which is to stay the hell out of these meme coins. From my experience and what researchers like Coin Guru say, knowledge is the only authentic way to stay aware of scams. Coin Guru has a great tweet on his timeline in which he explains how to find small cap gems that are not scams. I recommend going through this tweet for those who are interested. When people talk about crypto, the first word that comes to mind is scam. They are not entirely wrong as we have seen. I came into this space with a genuine interest in the technology and seeing projects like Bitcoin, Ethereum and the various layer to doing what they do. But there is another dark side to the story. Unfortunately, this is what gets reported more often in the media and hence the common perception. As users, it is incumbent on us to understand the risks and the reward and act accordingly. A lot can be learned by following a few accounts like Zach and Coin Guru on Twitter. I hope you like this video. Do like and share. And I will see you next time with another fresh bite. Bye-bye.